Buffalo, New York, Uvalde, Texas, the list continues, and so has a number of horrific mass shootings. But here in New York, Governor Kathy Hochul just signed into law 10 gun control measures and says they will not be letting this moment pass by without taking aggressive action. Shots ring out, flags come down, and nothing ever changes, except here in New York. Governor Kathy Hochul on Monday signed 10 gun control bills, promising sweeping reform when it comes to purchasing and possessing a firearm in New York. This is a moment of reckoning for us as New Yorkers and as Americans. History will judge us by how we respond, how we meet this moment, by whether we did everything in our power to keep these guns off the streets and out of the hands of criminals. New York will now require a license to purchase a semi-automatic rifle, make threatening mass harm a crime, strengthen the state's red flag laws, and raise the age to purchase a semi-automatic rifle to 21. These bills will also require new pistols to be equipped with micro-stamping technology, which uses lasers to imprint markings on a firearm to make it easier to trace guns. And in response to the horrific mass shooting in Buffalo that killed 10 people, the state will now ban the sale of body armor to anyone outside of law enforcement. Buffalo's mayor, Byron Brown. In Buffalo, in the Bronx, in Brooklyn, all across New York State, all across this nation, people deserve to be safe going about their daily lives. One bill will also require social media companies improve how they respond to hateful conduct on their platforms. Attorney General Letitia James is currently investigating the role these social media companies played in the mass shooting in Buffalo. Fueled by hate and enabled by the dark corners of the internet, social media platforms provide an unchecked vehicle for these dangerous and corrosive ideas to spread. But some gun owners say having a patchwork set of laws across the country without federal action does little to crack down on the bad actors. We can use the laws we have on the books. In 2012, Governor Cuomo signed in the New York State Act, which he said was the be all and all best law there ever was, and it's gonna stop all our gun problems. Well, here we are with more laws. Now the legislative year already wrapped now, the legislative year already wrapped up, but state lawmakers might have to return before next year. The Supreme Court is expected to hand down a ruling in the coming weeks when it comes to New York's concealed carry gun law and whether or not that's constitutional. Reporting live, I'm Morgan Mackay, Fox 5 News. Steve, back to you. <laughs> Goodbye, constitutional rights. These people are fucking scum. It's like a country of scum, isn't it? What the fuck? Man, you can't make this shit up.